Me and Brown Pete are somewhere tropical, unlike our normal somewhere tropical. Bronte's taking out some money. We're gonna go camping. What are you gonna play? Tell us what your favorite game is. Roulette is the best. What size turbo do you think that thing's got? This is the, the island caves. caves. Small island, small cave. Marcus. Marcus. Enter at your own risk. God, watch your language. <laughs> I bang my head a hundred times a day. I'm good. Okay. Now we're gonna go. You're first, okay. ladies first. Okay. That's, oh. how we know, that's how we know back in the days that the stairs were working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See any bats? Did you carve these steps or have they been oh, here? Oh, my great ancestors. I'm glad I wasn't here. Okay, so I got two almond shell nuts here. He said be careful because they sell almonds in the gift shop, but they don't sell fingers. Mm -hmm. yes. That's when you go yeah. saw. Wow, if she ain't open, she gonna get it a little to you. And you put it back and you go here. So you gotta get wow. to that inside. Yeah. No. Oh, wow. The, the prince was here in 1861, yeah, since okay. Prince Alfred was here on December 5th, 1861. And he said he built, they built that for him. And he lived out, he stayed outside the cave for like five days. And they just fed him, bathed him, and worshipped him mm -hmm. while he was here. And he just took their gold and left. So. Moral of the story is, really don't put anybody on a pedestal. There are some hell captive pigs. How you doing, buddy? I got a handful of hot dogs and apples. Pick up the big one. Hey. Big guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Come on. Well, Bronte, we're at the steakhouse. It's probably going to be the most really expensive good. meal of the trip. Just yeah. look at this, guys. $140 steak there. $120 six ouncer. 80, 85, 85, 110. Thank you. 265. 265. I got a big steak, though, at least. That is a good size. A good size. And then we got the sides because you can't have steak without sides. Mm -hmm. That was a test. <laughs> was it? Yeah, right. <laughs> it went like four feet. <laughs> I overshot it. Oh my god. That's gone. That is gone. We don't know that. <laughs> Let's check it here. There's mine. <laughs> I don't know, Coop. That looked like it went far. Bert, it's a goner. You got it? Oh, he got it! That guy's mean up there. Everybody has these little K vans out here. These little K trucks and vans, and I need one. That thing is sick. Look at those wheels. Everybody has them, and I want one. I want one as a daily driver, especially with these gas prices these days. Oh. This thing is full bore out here. This is the most extreme lazy river I've ever seen. Is it always this bumpy? Yeah. <laughs> Can you guys turn it up? <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> no, that wasn't me. No. I think the guy said there's a warm spot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pretty sure that's what I heard. for 
Oh my god. I'm exhausted. Alright guys, so I'm here at their local track, but the starting line is way up there, probably like a quarter mile away, <laughs> or eighth mile, honestly, I don't know, but look at this, this is their parking lot, it's pretty nice, can't really see much of it, let's see if we can see anything real quick, look at that, it's their freaking drag strip, that's so cool, so I came, I saw it. I'm not walking all the way up there while this cab waits for me. My no trespassing sign, unfortunately. We'll have to come back and see it again. Oh man. Unfortunately, this is all we get. Well guys, that'll do it for our awesome honeymoon trip to the Bahamas. We had a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Back to our regularly scheduled YouTube content and shenanigans of me wrenching on cars in my garage. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep it saucy. I'll see you next time.